Welcome back, Fred in the Shed 2, just a little Fred in the Shed 2 video and something that some of you might be interested in, I've been doing a little bit on car detailing, well amateur car detailing recently and I needed a new car leather so I decided to buy one of these ones off eBay, uh, these are normally sold in places like China very very cheaply, normally less than 5 UK pounds delivered so I picked this one up, I actually bought this from a UK seller just to, uh, to make sure that I got it on time so we're gonna have a quick look at it and but straight out of the packet it, it is real sheepskin leather it's certainly uh, you know it smells like leather it's not that uh, non-absorbent imitation stuff it is the real it is the real deal and yeah relatively sort of thick it's a little bit thin in places towards the edge of the uh, leather itself but yeah it's reasonably sort of thick anyway I'm gonna open it up because I'm quite impressed by the size that you get for your money so let me just open it up and there it is. <laughs> I mean, it, it's pretty big. I mean, they say the size varies. I mean, obviously, you know, it depends on the sheep, doesn't it? The poor sheep that uh, sacrifices its skin to uh, to make this leather. Um, I hope it wasn't killed just purely to get the leather off it. I hope it was for food or something. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can see it's a really big size. I, I mean, I'm so I will probably cut that in half. But I think you could possibly almost cut that into three sections that would probably be absolutely fine for sort of leathering down the car and uh, yeah there's, there's no sort of snags or tears or rips um yeah it's absolutely yeah, it's absolutely fine it smells nice as well it's got that sort of leathery sort of smell so it does thin out a little bit just on the edges but right so what we're going to do is i'm um, just going to rinse the car off and then we'll just give it a little test we'll see how absorbent it is and sort of you know, make sure it doesn't leave any sort of streaks or sort of water lines. We're going to give it a wash first just because sometimes it, these, these do get a slight yellow residue. I don't know if it's, it's a dye that they uh, put into it. But anyway, let's uh, see if I can do that, do that one handed. That'll be quite a laugh. But so uh, yeah, we're going to give it a test to see how it's sort of uh, what finish we get out of it. So there we go, just rinsed off the uh, boot panel here. Just going to uh, give that a little bit of a rinse. And uh, Washed out the leather. I've cut it in half because it was way too big just for sort of using it as it came. So uh, yeah, please to say none of the no, no residue come out, no yellow residue sort of sort of come out. So anyway, let's uh, let's give it a try. Yeah, that seems to be uh, that seems to be working absolutely fine. I mean, you know, this obviously is a cheap from China sort of chamois leather. I mean I'm sure car detailers will be sort of tutting and rolling their eyes up to the sky because I'm sure you can get some very nice quality chamois leathers. But you know it's not damaging the paint or anything and it certainly seems to be working and for this price for something that you do at home you know you can't really go wrong in my opinion. I'm sure it won't last as long as a more expensive chamois leather. I'm sure it eventually will get some sort of holes in it. If, if it does give out prematurely I'll, uh, I'll update the comments. But uh, yeah, there you go. You can sort of see that's uh, that's that's completely streak free, and uh, yeah, smells nice as well. <laughs> but so there you go. So that's it. You know, a cheap um, chamois leather from eBay. Like I say eBay UK, but these these are sold all throughout sort of China. And I will leave a link in the description if you want to get one yourself. I so say they are they are very very cheap, um, but I think they're great value just for using at home. And uh, yeah, so why not? So there you go, just a quick video. Cheers, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. As always, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you all on the next one.